All right, hello friends. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about helmets. There's a million videos on, you know, ballistic helmets, probably non-ballistic helmets. I'm gonna talk here about ballistic helmets, not necessarily the non-ballistic. Um, I made a video on the uh, bike helmets, just really basic. Uh, I don't know if I made it as a short or not, but anyway, there is one I did on bike helmet option. To, there's lots of options out there on that as well. You know, I'm just talking about ballistic helmets, um, especially for guys looking to do one on budget. There's a guy, uh, Angry Asian, I recently came across online, and um, he has some great videos, man. He's covered this to the nines, right? Um, and I don't know if he talked about everything, and it's hard to remember to talk about things on the video. But anyway, I was going to cover a couple aspects here that uh, might be of interest to you, uh, especially if you're trying to fit out maybe a family, maybe you got, you know, a large family, you want everyone to be somewhat protected, especially in the uh, turbulent times that we're in right now. Uh, might be kind of hard to find ballistic helmets, things like that. But uh, there are some options out there and that's why I want to show you here today. Also, like me, I made a lot of mistakes and when I first started trying to make my helmets all tactical, like uh, this one, um, I bought, you know, rails and things off Amazon, not thinking about, oh, does it fit the military gear? Does it not fit the military gear and stuff like that? And um, not knowing a whole lot about it. But thanks to guys like, you know, Angry Asian, and then he has a couple other guys and, and people he deals with that, man, you can buy all this stuff to take a surplus, you know, a ballistic shell or helmet and make it work for you uh, if you're got some, you know, building skill capability, right? So most of these have been modified from what they originally were. Um, however, except for one. So this one right here is a recent purchase I got. It is a Chinese, um, you know, ballistic one. It, it claims to be good for up to 44 mag. There's several videos on these being shot by different people. One is like the blue jean operator. He fires one of these. Uh, with 9 mil buckshot and an AK, doesn't survive the AK. I, I, I don't think any of these are going to survive rifle rounds, high velocity rifle rounds. N none of these are going to do that for you. Uh, so if you think they are, stop thinking that. It, it's not going to happen. It may deflect them if you get lucky. Uh, you know, it would be luck if you survived a rifle round hit in the head by any of these I'm going to show you. Um, that's an ACH. That one there is a CVC. This is a vehicle ballistic helmet. That is a CVC. It's a ballistic vehicle helmet. This here is an ACH. This is an ACH. This is a Chinese copy of the Fast Helmet. And I'll explain where I got this one. This is 150 bucks. I bought the shell for this thing. I think I paid, at the time, $80 for this one. The two CVCs uh, together, these guys, um, I think I got them both for 140 bucks, so like $70 each. Uh, this one, I think I paid, um, because it wasn't in great, it, you know, it has some, I'll show you up close, there's some, there was some like shell missing crap on the top. Um, but anyway, the guy gave me a great deal, I think I got it for 60 bucks. So it's an ACH. Um, I don't have any of the older models. I don't have any of the niche helmets or that kind of thing. These are all advanced uh, combat helmets, uh, except for this, the CVC, CVC. Um, CVC, Combat Vehicle Crewman Helmet. That's what that means. ACH is Advanced uh, Combat Helmet. Um, so each of these are those. So... Uh, each one's made by a different manufacturer. I'm not sure who makes the CVCs for the military, but these are like HD-123 or 132Bs. That's what these are called. You can find them online. The guys have done exactly what I've done. Uh, I just didn't realize. I made some mistakes, but hey, they work. Um, this one here, I believe, is my, um, I think it's the BAE Systems. This one here is a uh, Ravenex, is, is Israeli uh, made. And um, this one here is a Blackhawk from the UK. So it's a UK uh, helmet. Um, so anyway, here, here's 
what you have. It's on the inside, so I won't show you. Oh, so the other thing I'm gonna show you, I might do a different video on this, is look at these nods. These are Gen 1 nods, all right? Uh, Gen 1 nods, I think I got this one off of Amazon. It is not as good as that one, and I'll show features why that's the case. So this one right here is, um, this one here is much better. Uh, and there's reasons for that, but it, it's better than that one. And I think I actually paid less for that one. And I think I got this one off eBay or maybe Wish or something. I, it might, I might have gotten that for, off of uh, Amazon. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember now. So this one, I probably paid more for. I think I paid like 250 bucks, but it came with the rails it came with the Wilcox mount on the front. It came with the IR light. I got a lot of goodies on this deal. However, the inside, this foam, it's comfy. Uh, it's comfy, don't get me wrong. It's just kind of strange and it's different. Uh, I threw the bulletproof back thing on here because this is a medium. So this is uh, my wife's. So this is the wife's style. However, these are actual ops core mounts that are on here uh wilcox ops cord so it's got great uh gear on here and you know you can use the little bungees to put up here it's got a little another little device attaches in here you can clip on a nice thing i got the notoros uh this is an actual gi uh setup so it fits in here perfect the restraining system the chin strap sucks bad that's going to get replaced and maybe in this video i'll show that what i change on this one to make it more comfortable for her and i'm also going to put like a team windy ratchet system probably in this one and i may even paint this and not keep it black or i may just cover put a cover on it haven't decided yet on that one um but yeah so if you aren't familiar with the these I don't know if you can see the sticker. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's a good one or not. I haven't really looked it up. I just got a real good deal on it, so I bought it. This has a cover. If you're not familiar with this type of IR light, this is a strobe. And then that goes over the top to uh, cover it up. And then I put this little mount on here, so it has a blue... Uh, output a switch here and it has regular light and it has a button with a little uh, IR beacon so I can recognize her from other people things like that would be uh, important right so I have other people in my life the reason why I have so many homeless is there are other people in my life that I care about and I want them to be protected so I want to have something right so again we've got this mount here We've got a Amazon, uh, basically Wilcox copy. So if you look here, you can see I had to file this out so the GI mounts would actually fit in here because otherwise it doesn't fit. They, they don't fit. That's got a lot of wobble, but hey, it's a plastic, just, you know, it's a tactical light thing. This has an IR output, so you can use it with there, but if your nods are in here, what good is this IR output? That's never understood kind of that. This this was sold as a whole setup. I never understood that. So this didn't have any rails. So I might get some Wilcox rails and put them on this one. Um, the chin strap too, it could use an update. It's uh, original stuff. So to give you an idea here, so you can see what that looks like. Um, yeah, this is, oh, there's a contract right there, number, oh, right over here, BAE system, uh, yeah, BAE systems, sorry, didn't have it in there, anyway, check it out, um, so this one was not painted green, it had some other color, I, I repainted it, you know, just battle rattle stuff. Um, here's another one that I got. Uh, this mount seemed really well built. 
I bought this and now they don't sell it on uh, Amazon anymore. They sell another one, but the configuration's stupid. However, this does fit GI stuff. My GI mounts, the Notorious mounts and stuff all fit in here with no issue. So, however, I got these cheap, um, these cheaper, you can see where I ground the hole forward. I did not want to drill another hole in this helmet. I wanted to leave it plain in case I ever found the actual ops core rails, which I have. So I'm going to be getting some of those and, and putting those on. So they should just mount up perfectly on here for the HCH. That's what I'm hoping. But, you know, I did an all right job. This is one of the first helmets that I did. You can't get this mount anymore on Amazon. You can get ones like it, but they don't look the same. They don't look made as well as this one. Um, so these do say ARC right here. See that? But there's no ops core uh, insignia on this at all. So it's just a cheap knockoff. Yeah, this thing's been a little beat up. I painted it and I just kind of gave it sort of a ATAX FG sort of look just to blend in with the area that I am in. I bought this um, padding off Amazon. It's kind of like a Team Windy knockoff, I think. Um, but it's really comfortable. So this is the Rabinex um, helmet. See right there, made by the Rabtex, however you say that. But it has a newer, uh, this chin strap I bought off Amazon. It's been great, it's held up um, when I've had this out, you know, running around the woods, that kind of thing. The rails, uh, they, they mount stuff, they seem to fit. Um, they don't seem to be wrong. Uh, everything clicks in place and slides in uh, without much problem. So, although they're knockoffs, they seem to work. Um, here's the CVC. Now, this one here, actually, when I bought this, it came with this mount already on there. So, some of, some of the conversion was kind of already done. I think they're trying to, you know, make like just training stuff. You can see an old hole was covered up. Um, so... They've done some changes. The uh, rails, again, are ones that I bought and I put on here myself. So I drilled the holes, uh, changed the rails on the side, put the uh, cool guy, you know, walker radio system on here. So this is one, you know, if I, you know, had to give it to my wife or whatever. See, I've, I've drilled so it goes around that screw. So if I needed to remove the chin strap. I don't have to remove the whole rail. Again, this is a knockoff from Amazon, but it's actually a pretty good knockoff. Now the Velcro, I did the Velcro stuff. It was like a $7 kit on there. These I bought on Amazon and they lock in great. So you just pull these wires out from your razor and then stick this thing on there. I've had to bend them so they actually snap and lock in place the correct way. Uh, I bought this. Um, you can see the name. This was bought from Amazon. The padding inside, again, Team Team Wendy knockoff. Um, so this thing, uh, this fits comfortably. It's great. Use a real military mount, so everything mounts on. It's uh, fantastic. So, yeah, I'm a positive a bit. Um, so, there you have that one. And then um, we're going to get to this guy. So, um, this one right here, same thing. I've got the uh, Atex uh, IX camouflage on this, but I've kind of um, muddied up the emblem just because I thought it showed too much and, and I don't know. So I got these kind of mounts on here. They're not bad, they work, they slide in. Again, these are cheap knockoff rails that I bought on Amazon. They're not, not the real thing. But on the CVC helmet, they work fantastic. Again, I put the Velcro on here. I've done all the other work. Um, you know, Rhino mount on the front. Uh, this is another knockoff 
uh, Wilcox mount, so I had to make this one, and again, I had to file the front, the bottom edge, so that it actually locks into place, and um, this thing holds, you know, really well. So it, you know, I can grab it by the mount. It is, uh, it's solid. And this solid aluminum, uh, you're not gonna have a problem with that. So this uh, whole setup is not bad. So I could show you how that does not fit the other items. Again, I made this, I made mistakes. I drilled holes, here's the original hole. I drilled holes. I filled all the holes with marine silicone. Everything is sealed with marine silicone to keep moisture out of the uh, Kevlar uh, mesh. And I did, you know, through and through. So when these are put in, they're put in with silicone. I really would hate to have to take them back out uh, because that, that silicone locks in uh, pretty, pretty well. Um, you know, is this the best uh, inside piece? Well, I gotta tell you, this is comfortable. Uh, if I had to use it for anything, it's really not bad and it's not too heavy. So mistakes, maybe don't get cheap copies. And you can see right here, the curvature for a CVC is rounded. It's not flat like a fast helmet. I just ran my rails. I just ran my rails right below. So does it matter? Not really. And not to me. You know, it looks like, let me show you here. Here's like a fast copy. See how it's flat across there? Well, you, yeah, it looks flat here because I made it with how I did the rail. But the actual curvature, if you can look in here, is right here and it's round. CVC helmets have a piece that goes inside that goes around your head and your ear muffs and everything for your communications inside the vehicle are already there. So you don't have to worry about um, that. Everything's all together. But these are ballistically uh, 3A ballistic. So if you can find a CVC shell, usually you can get those pretty cheap. And uh, you can make yourself a nice helmet just like that one. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, you know, comment and stuff. Uh, I try to help with ideas on how to make your system work for you. So let's get to the Chinese one. China, right? Okay, so here we go. Uh, it has Team Wendy kind of copy pads inside. Has a ratcheting system like Team Wendy. It works. I mean, it's solid notching. Um, fits on my head even without it snapped in under my chin it stays on uh, really I'm impressed by this cheap uh, Chinese copy um, I don't have this this thing on my other ones I haven't tried my military railed stuff in here yet but um, from what I saw online other people weren't having an issue um, let's just see if we can get this to mount I may have to take this thing off and um, you know, set it back up differently, but we'll see if the military mount fits. And it does. So it does fit GI gear. Uh, what I want to make sure, I would definitely make sure that this bottom part, you know, latches down in there. So you get a good solid fit. I bought this because I don't have an actual fast helmet. And I don't want to spend, you know, 500 bucks because I don't have it to spin on an actual fast helmet. So I didn't go that route. I went this. So right now, Sarco Inc. is selling these for 150 bucks. It's, they claim it to be level 3A. Like I said, uh, Blue Jean Operator, I think Guns and Gears a couple of years ago shot one that was made of the same material. You can go watch the videos and see his performance. It's good enough for me, and it's lighter than a lot of these other ones I have. And if I have to drive a vehicle, or I'm going into a crappy environment, or there's a tornado outside, or whatever, I throw this guy on, I know that my brain case is going to be protected for the most part. 
if I put them on any of my loved ones or my family members, I know they're going to be protected, at least up to 44 mag impact. However, the back face deformation, that's when the round hits and this bends inward that way. This whole thing crushes in like a two liter bottle. Well, if your skull's on this side and that gets crushed in, it's like getting hit with a sledgehammer and uh, your survivability, the more of that back face uh, damage happens, you know, it's gonna crush your skull in more. So your survivability uh, of a very heavy blow or 44 mag hitting this is gonna push your skull in and you're more than likely not gonna survive. And if you do, you won't know that you survived. Um, in other words, you're going to be in a coma or a vegetable or uh, just brain dead. Um, that's the reality. Uh, however, is this more protection than a bike helmet or a bump helmet? Yeah. Bump helmets are great and they serve their purpose. I just choose not to have them when, for me, it's affordable enough to just take the step up. And to me, this thing's like 3.4 pounds. Uh, three point three pounds four ounces i think is what they state on the website to me it, it doesn't feel bad of course i wore a kevlar for many years in the military um the old school and you get used to it you get used to the weight however the pads on the inside just to push in your head are definitely going to have an impact on headaches uh neck muscle uh spasms um Things like that. So uh, the padding on any of these is going to be absolutely important. One, for the back face deformation, when the bullet hits it and it comes back, you don't want something so soft that it doesn't provide you any more protection on that initial hit, right? So you don't want real soft padding. You definitely want maybe a layer of like the really hard stuff like some of these have, and then the softer black stuff inside. I'll give you an idea. All right, so these are military ones. These are the black ones, these are cushy, soft, but, but these right here, they're soft, but they're hard on the backside. They have a hard edge, like a, I don't know if it's a quarter inch thick, but they have a hard edge and then it's soft. So it's um, a little different. So then you get like these Team Windy knockoffs, right? I don't have the black pieces in here. This is the harder stuff. So this is pretty hard, it's pretty rigid. This is a little soft foamy piece. I just need it on the side to make up room. Um, this one. Okay, so here you see I added even black ones in here for a little more cushion, a little more foam. These are the more cushion, uh, moisture absorbing pad. This is the harder, more dense pad. So you these help aid in the back force, you know, when a bullet hits and that bends in, this is gonna give you a little more protection on your skull. So that's the idea behind it if you're not familiar with helmet padding. That's the idea, anyway. Um, if you're an actual soldier who's been hit in the head uh, with a round and you survived it, uh, I'd love to hear your comments or your story. Please, please comment below. That would be awesome to get real-world experience. If you're a driver wearing one of these CVC and you know in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever, and you know you've taken a blow, even if you, you hit the edge of the the ring where you get in your seat or whatever, you climb down the turret or something, and it saved your butt, or the turret latches wasn't locked and it came down, and whacked you in the head, you know, did it save your butt? Uh, love to hear about that. And um, yeah, so if, if anyone's wore these kind of ballistic things, you got a story, please share it. That'd be awesome. And I'm sure others would love to hear it. Hopefully this uh, was pretty informative for you. It's long. I get it. It's hard to talk about a bunch of items and uh, keep it short. But I tried to do that. So this gives you guys some ideas. I'll throw up some of the stuff that I got off Amazon. And maybe if I can find where I bought other stuff. But I started these helmets several years ago. And I've gotten more knowledgeable. And started you know, buying a few more uh, here and there. But... They're important to have, especially uh, for people that don't know anything about helmets. Like, for instance, my wife, hers is just set up. It's just here. Put this on. Let's go. 
that's what this is set up for. She doesn't need to ask questions because I covered everything for her. She just puts it on and I'll, I'll move out from there. Because she's not one that really has an interest in this. So maybe you've got someone else who doesn't have an interest in it, but you do. You be the knowledgeable one. You set it up for them and, and just say, here, use this. You know, they'll figure it out as you go. Um, anyhow, again, subscribe, comment. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Have a great day.